Welcome to Metro Home. Today we're going to talk about high-rise living. I'm here at Chang Residences at Wak Wak and visiting the stunning show units. Shang Properties is a luxury developer and so I'm expecting something very special. From what I understand, they've also infused resort vibe. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing how the design aesthetic matches the luxe and the resort in the condominium format. I'm going to be interviewing Terence Orr of BRT Design Firm and looking forward to seeing what's in store for me. Come join me on today's episode. The Shang Residences at Wak Wak is an exclusive resort-inspired luxury residential property. Located in the lush neighborhood of Wak Wak, you can enjoy some of the city's most sought-after views. The Shang Residences at Wak Wak provide beautifully designed amenities for a mix of lifestyles. Drawing inspiration from tropical luxury resorts, their vision is to create homes that people feel innately drawn to. In the Shang Properties showroom in Mandaluyong, we get to take a sneak peek into one of their newest Lux projects. We begin with their 81 square meter, one bedroom. I feel very relaxed entering this space. I'm a big fan of the design detail of the ceiling. Not just the natural material, but the architecture, the way it leads into the highlight of the apartment, which is its stunning view. It's Lux yet pared down with a lot of natural materials and textures, such as this cantilevered bar. It has a honed marble top, and then you also have very interesting wood paneling that warms up the space. As we all know, storage is crucial in high-rise living, and they were also very clever to add a storage area in the back of this kitchen. The bedroom is comfortable, equipped with ample storage and a private bath. Moving on, we explore the spacious 142 square meter two bedroom model unit. The design of this two bedroom show unit really portrays how it can work for small families. I can imagine a young girl loving this bedroom and her parents right across in the master's room and a very spacious living and dining area. In the master's bedroom, the main focus goes into a walk-in closet leading into a spacious bathroom with a relaxing resort feel. Every girl dreams of a walk-in closet. I absolutely adore how the master bedroom opens up into this spacious closet and then you flow directly into a very spacious bathroom. What a luxurious element to add to this two-bedroom apartment. Hello, I'm here with Terence Orr of BTR Workshop. Terence, thank you for being on the show. Glad to be here. Thank you very much. So we're going to move into talking about how the residents feel yeah. when walking into Shang Residences at Wak Wak. When you designed this project, mm -hmm. what did you want a resident to feel when entering their home? Yeah, I want to have a relaxed feeling, but in a in sense of luxe. Mm -hmm. So does the luxe that I was referring to is not the really fully fitted out interior to glam. Mm -hmm. The luxe that I was referring to is when they walk in, when they're in this uh, residential, their pace can be like calmed down, then their soul can be refreshed and the heart is like being rejuvenated. It's the kind of luxe you, you feel like uh, refreshed at in peace at, at home. peace at home. Yeah, so it's more on the mental side. Yeah, yeah. so the design aesthetic really reflects that. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I, I did feel that when walking into the unit. Mm -hmm. It just felt calming, a beautiful and warm aesthetic and still yet very contemporary. Yes. You really managed to balance it very well. Thank you. What are some of the design features that you want to highlight from the Shang Residences units? Yeah, okay. So if you ask me, the feature on this residential is, is exactly the key is the view. What I'm trying to do is every design that I did is just to want to enhance the experience when you're enjoying the view. So I'll be focusing more on the ceiling and just make it clean on the floor and I will make the walls and the elevations clean. So when when the people is enjoying it, their focus is, is also always the view. So what I did in the one bedroom units, I got a, an idea from the, uh, the ceiling of some villas in the hub with the canopy slanting ceiling. Yes, I yeah. absolutely yeah. love that feature because yeah. you very seldom see that in condo units. Again, yeah. it did feel very resort, yeah. yet you managed to blend it perfectly with mm -hmm. the contemporary condominium yeah. interiors. Yeah, and but we don't really literally represent it. 
uh, I will do it in a more modern and refined way. So yes. you don't feel it like a bit rough in in the interior, but you still get that feeling. Certainly. Yeah. yeah. So there is that added touch of resort, yeah. but still in a very metropole sort of vibe. Yeah. I like also how you kept it very clean. Mm -hmm. The floor is clean because as you said, the view is what we want to appreciate yes. and what we want to highlight in yes. these units. Yeah. So design-wise, yeah. what kind of aesthetic did you go for for the furniture and the fittings? So uh, basically, uh, I, I want to have the, a really clean base and on, on the fit out and then there's the highlight is really coming from the furniture so the lux and the focuses will be like just a plain background and then with, on the furnishing and on the materiality so since we are doing like a resort right so I really go for more natural feeling like a home or a texture finish yes. yeah like just marble or sandstone this kind of natural materials wood yes. I try to avoid all engineered products it's like glass True. yeah so a lot of metals or like framings I, I try not to do that some of the key design features like I try to use the wooden screen yes yeah. you, there are very clever ways that you played around with the materials you know yeah. not just on the floor because you kept the floor quite clean actually yeah. except I found it great that um, even in the model units or in the actual yeah. units the kitchen flooring is going to be tiled so I think that's very important as yeah. well because you need to think about function yeah, and but aesthetically yeah. I love how you played around with the different textures mm -hmm. and the walls and you also use very clever mm -hmm. wooden paneling yeah. around and also great concealed doors mm -hmm. yeah. because I guess when you live in a condominium you still need to take into consideration the space yeah as you said uh, I, have con I have some doors like concealed so you don't really feel that there's so many doors when you're staying it so it's really like a clean and closed space and then you find it very calm so going back to the furniture so we do put some focus on the furniture so we get it from Italy so we got brands like Polyform Potrana Fowl, Da Salto, Meridiani, and Lice, we got Lindsay Edelman. So we want to be more art, artistic because mm -hmm. we want to punch in some art element. Yes. Yeah, so for here, we're imagining uh, for the one bedroom unit, it's a young entrepreneur. So he, okay. yeah, he's like an art collector. Yes. Yeah, so just having a clean wall, but he's having his own collection and it gives the highlights as well. Yeah. I think also you highlighted a lot of Filipino art. Yes. And this is great for the overall aesthetic of this unit because you use so many different materials and very natural. Mm -hmm. So you blended the resort, the luxe, mm -hmm. and a bit of the art yes. as well. Yeah. I think three incredible points. Terence, please expound how Shang Residences at Wok Wok sets itself apart from other luxury condominiums. Okay, when we think of a luxury condominium, we all immediately we think it's a fully fitted out interiors with uh, expensive materials, with less uh, glam on the chandelier, blingy. Mm -hmm. But what I would say here is, um, this is not the kind of lux that we're, we're talking about as I mentioned before. It's the kind of lux that uh, is in your soul, in, 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 deep in your heart, this peace and calm with this stunning view. I think there's no other in Manila. I agree. I certainly think the future Shang residents here and this residences at Wak Wak are very lucky with the view and will love coming home every night. Yes. Thank you for being on the show. Welcome. My pleasure. Coming up, I move on to a newly renovated flat that is now home to a young family-to-be.